I was able to see everything firsthand and understand what was going on eventually over time. It was a learning experience for myself. I've never experienced it before, like a lot of us, but um, I definitely took some lessons, some, some losses. I've taken losses as high as 80%. Damn! Do you have a love for it, or was it really just buying into the hype? and now you're just sour. You're just like, you hate watches, you don't understand what happened. You buy into a stock, a small cap, and it could run up 600% in a day or two. That was crazy. Sure, I've gotten into some. I was happy. I'm rich, bitch! <laughs> Guys, in today's video, we're gonna be discussing now that the watch hype has subsided and you've taken your losses, how do you feel about watches? I'm gonna be talking about watches and the stock market in today's video. So guys, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. So in 2020, let's just give that year, everything was booming. Stock prices, watch prices, everything was skyrocketing to a degree that didn't make sense to a lot of people. It just continued to go up. A lot of people was making money and they thought that it was gonna continue forever. For a little period, I thought the same. I was like, something's up. Like, maybe I should jump in on this. And I have my hands in the watch market and the stock market. So I was able to see everything firsthand and understand what was going on eventually over time. It was a learning experience for myself. I've never experienced it before, like a lot of us, but um, I definitely took some lessons, some, some losses, but at the end of the day, I'm not left with a bad taste in my mouth. And that's what I want this discussion to be in this video, is that going through from 2020 to this point, I know a lot of us has take, have taken some losses, especially in the, in the watch market, and of course in the stock market. And I wanna know, since buying into the hype back then, and now things have went down and subsided, how do you guys feel about watches? How do you guys feel? Are you, are you still passionate? Do you have a love for it? Or was it really just buying into the hype and now you're just sour? You're just like, you hate watches. You don't understand what happened. You were just in a cloud back then where you just thought this was gonna go on forever. So in 2020, things were skyrocketing. You buy into a stock, a small cap, and it could run up 600% in a day or two. That was crazy. Sure, I've gotten into some. I was happy. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> but sure, I've gotten into some, and I bought it, not top top, but you know, at, at a point where I thought it was gonna go higher, and of course it went down and I took an L. But eventually, quickly I learned that, hey, hold, don't sell, and try to average down. And that's what I've done, and that's the reason why, with the stock market, I don't really have a bad taste in my mouth, you know, with everything, with my portfolio. With everything you get into, especially if it's your first time, first experience, always have the right mindset. And with watches, I always had the right mindset. It was always a love and passion, so no matter what, whether it's I take a loss, I will still love watches the same. Now with the stock market, it was a little different. I had the right mindset, not as far as loving stocks, you know, it's, 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 I was just loving the challenge of learning something new and understanding there's winners and there's losers and there's strategies and things you could do to win. And before you win, in a lot of cases, you will have to lose and, and, and learn the hard way. And that's just what happened, and I'm still in it. I've taken losses as high as 80%. Damn! I'm sorry. Where some stocks, some positions that, that I was in was at 80%, and of course, you always have to have liquid to average down, and that's just what I did to kind of, you know, mediate and make things okay. My man. If I didn't have cash to average down, right now I'll be stressed out and hating stocks, <laughs> hating life, you know? But like I'm trying to say, with everything you get into guys, try and learn before getting into it. Try and find a mindset that 
will allow you to understand the negatives to it and not crumble when those bad times hit. That's what I've experienced with watches, not to the degree of a lot of people, especially when you got into the hype of 2020, 2021, 22. Um, but we all have some losses. Like for me, like I said in prior videos, I've sold watches too early. If I held on to them, I could have 3X, 4X, but hey, you can't really predict the future. And that's a lot of, that, that's what we pretty much should take from this video, is that you can't predict the, vid, the, the future with watches, the watch market, or the stock market. So you gotta just do your best, learn uh, risk management, and uh, hopefully that works out for you. So I'm gonna leave the video here. Comment down below your experience with the watch market in the past four or five years, how things have gone for you, uh, and also in the stock market. Comment below if, if you're in it and how your portfolio is looking today. And again, guys, give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for some more videos.